Three, two, one, boom! Damn it, man, nasty trapping coming back at you again. What's going on, everybody? I'm gonna let everybody get up in the room here. Oh, man, I'm gonna be quiet for about 30 seconds here and let you guys just enjoy the sounds of the wild. That's beautiful. I'm sitting out on my back porch here and I hear crickets, bullfrogs, and the best sound ever, the sound of the night. It's beautiful. So I'm just gonna hang tight here. I'm gonna let you guys get 30 seconds worth of sound and audio here. Turn it up. And uh, yeah, listen to it out here. It's beautiful. It feels good. It feels good to be in the springtime. It's about it's about 70. It's about 70 degrees out. We had a little bit of sprinkly rain going on and uh, that kind of passed by and it's just nice. It's calm and a little bit of breeze, 70 degrees out. Man, I wish I had some traps out in the woods right now. Got a lot of new people, a lot of new faces jumping up in here. Let's see here. I got Chip in the house. Chip, Robert, Ashley's in the house. What up, Ashley? I'm going to wave, wave, wave at all of you. And I got Ronnie. What's up, Ronnie? I haven't talked to you in a second. Yeah. Anyway, Bruce, how you doing? I'm waving here, guys. CJ, Ronnie's up in the house. Joe's in the house. Robin's in the house. Daniel in the house. And Dalton in the house. So how's everybody doing tonight? Now, topic here guys show your support for the mad nasty trapper okay um i went on and i i'm a good friend and you know i talked to chris gilliam on a regular basis all right what's up kenny barker how you doing tonight bud i'll wave at you oh we're getting some rain up in here <laughs> kenny barker says damn the man you damn right i am i'm gonna start getting rain down here in a second Man, people jumping up in here. Jesus, people are bouncing in. Beautiful. I love it. All right. So I, I was talking to, I was online and I was looking and, you know, as anybody should do, not the competition, but other people that are in the sport that we are in and me being a producer, as you can see, rain falling. I need a shower anyway. Me being a producer of YouTube videos. And an entertainer, I keep track of other people that are just like me doing similar things. I call it the competition, though it's not a huge competition. I try to stay in tune. Holy shit, it's getting to rain out here. I try to stay in tune with similar people that do similar style of videos. It's just called good business to know your competition. So in doing so, I heavily track what's going on with other trappers in the trapper community. I keep track of the big boys out there in the YouTube game, okay? I keep track of Coon Creek, Sam Woods, Chris Gilliam, and a handful of others. That's just smart. Now, Coon Creek has been clipping along. That boy's got so many viewers, it's extremely hard for me to catch up to him. Sam Woods, Sam Woods, I love you, Sam Woods, but for God's sake, we need some trapping videos. We're done watching shit cooked in toasters, bud. Damn. Now, I don't know. I don't see his subscriber count growing. Sam Woods has kind of peaked, and he has really filtered his videos to doing cooking videos and such. So I'm not even really worried about him. I'll catch up to him. It's going to take a while. He's got a lot of viewers and a lot of supporters and a lot of subscribers. But Chris Gilliam, I like Chris Gilliam, dude. He's very, very like-minded. And uh, 
I follow him because him and I have a lot of similarities, and we especially like our trapping game, and we like bringing entertainment and funny shit to our videos. So our videos are very, very similar, though he is much better at video editing than I am. That son of a bitch got that video editing program, and he's got it figured out. What's up, Trisha Barker, Jack in the house. Man, a lot of new faces. Beautiful. I love seeing everybody new in here. Thank you, everybody, for the support. But I was checking out the numbers today, and uh, I'd been following Chris Gilliam very, very closely. Because when he got dropped, he was running like, I think, 13,000 subscribers or something like that. He had an extraordinary amount of subscribers. But that boy got flagged, and his YouTube channel got dropped. So that brought him down to zero subscribers. He had to go and open up a brand new YouTube channel, which at that point, even the playing field, it gave me a good, good trapper. And somebody that's been in the game a long time that I really looked up to as being a big guy in the game, um, even the playing field so that I could see how my numbers are keeping alongside of his without having to go and compete with a number that's so through the roof that it's going to take me years and years and years to catch up. But I've been following that boy. And when he cleared out to zero, I started out ahead of him, obviously. But he came back with a whole bunch of followers that just have to find his new channel. So I've been watching him, and he's steadily creeping up on my numbers. And I just sent him a note today on text message congratulating him on beating my numbers. He hasn't beat me by much, but he beat me on both view count and by a couple subscribers on the YouTube channel. And that right there doesn't sit real well with me. I bust my ass to make sure I get you guys the best content, the best videos, and the best material that I possibly can get you. I really watch the analytics to see what you guys are watching, what you guys want to see. And I don't go and put out what I want to put out. I put out what the market demands I put out, if that makes sense. I look at and analyze all my videos to see what's getting the best hits, what are the most popular videos, what's getting the most comments, and what's getting viewed the most. And I center my videos upon you guys, my fans, followers, subscribers, supporters, and ultimately my button bell pushers. So I want to get this out there that... Number one, I do this all for you. You guys are the ones that are making me big in this game. So, in doing so, I'm going to continue to produce the best quality video footage, instructionals, entertainment, comedy, and anything else that I could put out there that you guys want to see. So, number one, send me Facebook Messenger messages. Tell me what you guys, the viewers, want to see me produce. What would you guys like to see? What would you guys like to watch? And I will build my channel on YouTube around my fans, followers, subscribers, and bell, put bell button pushers. Okay? That's most important. But secondly, now that the field has been evened out, I have made it my goal to try my damnedest, even though it's extremely hard and I know that as much as I can put out a very, very good quality material that all you guys want to see, that you guys demand. It's extremely hard to keep up with a guy like Chris Gilliam who's gotten a reputation and built a name in the game when I'm a newbie coming upper. So I want to continue to go and strive to get ahead of his count for as long as I possibly can, which means that all my viewers, fans, followers, and subscribers, if you have not hit that subscribe button nor that notification bell, Please jump onto my YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping, and hit that notification bell and the subscribe button and watch and catch up on all the videos you have not seen yet. I have over 100 plus videos on there, guys. I am working extremely hard to get you guys all the material that you guys demand and want to see. So please do me the favor, if y'all could, if you're not subscribed, and you have not hit that notification bell on my YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping, please do so. I know you guys are viewing the stuff, but it shows in my counts of subscribers and such. That is what's going to get me noticed. The more views I get, the more subscribers I've got. 
And the more you guys view and hit the thumbs up like button on each of my videos that I come out with, that puts me higher up on the search engine. And the higher I get on the search engine on YouTube, the more my channel will grow. On my side of things, it's not about being um, monetized. It'd be nice to get a little income kickback for all the hard effort that I do for all of you. But I'm not looking for the monetization cash. And honestly, I don't have a PayPal account to deposit it in. <laughs> so screw the monetization. I'm in it for the recognition, building my name, and making sure that I come out with the best videos I possibly can for all of you. What you guys want to see, what the market demand is. I want to put out that material. I want to come out with the most informative, instructional, and detailed videos I possibly can so you guys come to me, Mad Nasty Trapping, on the YouTube channel. And you see my videos first off by hitting the notification bell. I want to make sure that you guys get the best videos you can and I become your number one source of detailed information of all things trapping. That is how I plan to make it to the top, build my name, build my brand, and make sure that I have one loyal, loyal following of fans, subscribers, and notification bell pushers. That's what I want to do for all of you. It's not about this guy. I like growing my name. I like my name being at the top of this here trapping game and all things YouTube macho status. I love that. And all the times that people send me and hit that notification bell and that subscribe button, it comes up with a notification on my phone that you have a new subscriber. And God damn, if that doesn't make me about fall over every time. So if every one of you on here have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please help me stay ahead of Chris Gilliam. That dude pumps out some shit. Good quality. Video edited like a professional, man. Dude, it's stressing me out to stay ahead of this boy. But you know what? Like, even the, even the off-the-wall crazy shit that I do doesn't compare to his off-the-wall crazy shit. He just put out a video, and you can go check it out. It's a good one. He just did a snapping turtle video where he's trapping snapping turtles. Okay? And he did it with his new partner, Blow Up Doll Jane or something. Why didn't I think of that? Shit. Maybe I would have had recognition. What's up, Jimmy Rucker, you filthy fucker? I love you, buddy. You are a fan of mine. Doom, doom, da doom, doom, doom. People are hitting that like button like crazy. But he did a video. Chris Gilliam just did a, his most recent video, I believe. He did a snapping turtle video with his helper, Blow Up Doll Jane or some shit. And it had me cracking up. It's probably about the funniest shit I've ever seen. But he gets recognition like crazy. I look at his comments and it's like, we love it, we love it, we love it, we love it. Shit! Ain't that the shit? Because I've been doing that kind of shit way back. I didn't have a blow-up doll, but you're damn right. I danced with dead coons. And I swung off the gamble racks. And I gotta say, Chris Gilliam, I love your live streams, but my live streams are a whole lot more live than your live streams, motherfucker. <laughs> so, talking to Chris Gilliam today, we are in a friendly brotherhood, brotherhood of the backwoods, fellow trappers. It's all smiles. It's no hate. It's no anger. I love Chris Gilliam's channel. And if you haven't subscribed to him, subscribe to him next month. Damn it. Don't do it now. Because that'll fuck me up. Because then I'll have to catch up. So subscribe to him next month after you subscribe to YouTube channel Mad Nasty Trapping. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Jerry just went over and subscribed to my YouTube channel Mad Nasty Trapping. Jerry, I got a lot of love for you, bud. Hey, what do you want to see on my channel? What video, if you could have any video out there, any trapping video, what would you like me to make for you? I will tailor a trapping video to you, bud, if at all possible. Send me in the comments what you'd like me to do. And that goes for anybody in here. 
Send me in the comments or get a hold of me better yet on Facebook Messenger. Send me suggestions as to what you would like to see on YouTube channel Mad Nasty Trapping. I want to go and make videos that are catered to my fans, followers, and subscribers and bell pushers. I want to make videos that you guys demand I make. That's how it's done. So, god damn. I got some view counts in here. It must be because it's not 2 a.m. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I, I can't stress it enough, guys. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do, what else to produce, what else you guys want to see. I mean, I got 4,900 plus followers on the Facebook page. I made note of that today on my page, thanking all my followers on Facebook. You guys mean everything to me. But can you imagine, can you guys just imagine for a second here, if every one of my 4,900 followers or a great portion thereof went over and subscribed to my YouTube channel, oh boy, that just might get me monetized where I can make $15 a month. <laughs> Damn. So that's that. And now that I got a lot of people on here, I got, it says six, but this number up here, the number with the eyeball that tells me how many people are watching, it's a fucking liar. That number in the corner, it's a lying piece of shit. Down here in the bottom as people are signing in, that number will go up one for every three that sign in. There's a lesson for you, Larry. I know you did a live stream, Larry Compton, on here earlier. Check out Larry Compton's live stream that he did on here on Facebook on S&G Outdoors Forum, I believe. I watched it earlier. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. He's got a little bit of work to do on the uh, on the video side of things. But I like your effort. It's got good content. It just needs a little bit refining to make yourself a champ at the video world, dude. Nice job, Larry. Your video's the shit. Go check it out. S&G Outdoors Forum on the Facebook. So, um, yeah, now I'm off track i don't even know what i'm thinking oh yeah now that i got some people on here um i am trying to put together a giveaway for all my fans as a little bit of enticement to go and sign up on my youtube channel mad nasty trapping so it will be a youtube channel exclusive giveaway and it's going to be good i don't hand out bumper stickers as giveaways guys Right now, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I think I might just go and build a trap package, possibly. Maybe get one of each different size of Duke traps and do a big box Duke trap giveaway, possibly. You know, throw in a long spring number one, a long spring number 11, maybe do a uh, foothold trap number, uh, you know, number 1.75, one and a half, do a uh, fucking throw those in there. Maybe throw in a fucking number two. Maybe throw in a number three. And uh, maybe a number five in there. And then I'll probably throw in a Conibear 110. And a uh, Conibear 220. And a Duke DP trap. Maybe I'll just go and do a big cluster fuck box. Of one of each size that I have. Surplus brand new Duke traps. Maybe I'll do that as a giveaway. Or I also need to check the legalities on giving away a firearm. I've thought about giving away a modified, beautiful, custom done up 22 rifle. But I don't know what the legalities are regarding that. So, uh, as much as I'd like to do it, I'm going to have to look at the, the legalities regarding a way, about giving away a firearm before I even go and post anything close to doing so. So... <laughs> What the hell? I got... <coughs> Jesus Christ. Bugs? What the hell? Anyway, so, yeah, I just wanted to come on here. I wanted to uh, let you guys know how much I appreciate you. I want to go and pick all of your brains for ideas on what to do for new video footage. If you guys have suggestions, that would be absolutely awesome. Um... Uh, you know, I want, number one, I want 
suggestions on new video footage number two i want to thank you guys for being the biggest fans of mine it means everything to me i produce all my videos for all of you for what you guys want to see because you guys are the ones that make me so um i want to come on here and let people know that i am trying to bust my ass to stay ahead of chris gilliam in a friendly brotherhood of the outdoors and trapping brothers of the backwoods friendly way competition to continue to strive to push both of our channels to the top and that boy's got one up on me on the video editing side of things it's all pretty and it's got text and it's got script and it's got good video quality and sound quality i mean that guy's coming a long way that guy's coming a very very long way and making it very hard for me to keep up but where i come out with videos that are more detail more entertaining more instructional and most importantly centered around what you guys want to see that's what's going to keep me ahead of his game i love you chris gilliam you're killing it keep making your videos i'll keep being on your live stream and boy when i come out of the gates when they let me off the youtube channel live stream restriction because they still have me blocked it's bullshit I got about a month left, maybe a month and a half left before I am off restriction on YouTube live stream. I'm going to come on there and I'm going to take it over by storm. It's going to be awesome. And you guys are all going to tune in on the YouTube live stream. Another reason to subscribe and hit your notification bell because the second it lifts me off restriction, I'm going to immediately jump on there and do a live stream on YouTube. And I want it to go from zero live stream viewers through the roof. And in order to get on there, first live stream, first second, is going to be notification bell pushed and a subscriber pushed. I can't stress it enough, guys. Please do so if you have not done so yet. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping. I'm going to show you guys as much love as I can by producing what you guys want to see. I want to come up with a good giveaway for everybody. And that's the bottom line. That's the most important. It's all about you. It's about the giveaway. It's about building my channel. And then when it all comes down to it, help me stomp the shit out of my competition. I love you, Sam Woods. But I do better shit than cooking shit in toasters. I'm sorry, Coon Creek. I love you, Coon Creek. But... You went over to Patreon. You disregarded a whole bunch of your friends, fans, followers, and supporters that helped build yourself. And then you jump ship on them and you go to Patreon. That right there, mm, I love you, bud. Your material's awesome. I'll continue to watch Toon Creek. But I am not going to subscribe to the Patreon channel of Toon Creek. Sorry. You ain't going to leave me in the dirt when I've been following you for years, fucker. I love you, and I'll keep on watching your shit, but only on the YouTube channel. And for you, Chris Gilliam, this guy dances with dead animals. Your blow-up doll is cool, but your blow-up doll ain't got shit on the mad nasty, dancing with dead critters, and swinging off the gambrel racks, boy. Come on. Come on. Step your game up, champ. Chris Gilliam, step up your game, buddy, because I just took this shit into overdrive, and I'm going to fucking run to the top. Watch me do it, and I'm going to keep track of you, bub. So, that's how it is. That's how it's going to be. I wanted to say thank you to all my fans and subscribers and supporters. You guys mean everything to me. Send me suggestions on what you want to see. Go on YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping. Hit that subscribe and that notification bell. Most importantly, YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping. Please. Show your support for me, because I can't show support more than I am for my love of my fans, followers, and subscribers than I already have. But I'm planning to go even further to show you guys my respect and how much it means to me and how much I appreciate every one of you. I'm going to leave it at that. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for tuning in. All the new faces in here, I want to say hello. I want to wave at all of you. And uh, I hope to see you guys on my YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping, as subscribers. I'm going to come out with some new videos. 
very very soon you will see me sooner than you think thank you